Anthony, can you just describe the symptoms that you've been experiencing and when they first surfaced? Yeah. Um, I mean, I might as well just go into the whole thing so you guys don't have to ask much, many questions. When it happened, uh, we flew to Seattle that day. Um, you know, whenever you go out west, for me, throughout my career, I'm always a little more tired, so I didn't think it was anything different. Woke up with a little bit of a like a neck pain, but that was addressed quickly, and then uh, felt like we were ready to go. Just felt normal, and uh, have felt normal, and then obviously the struggles have been well documented. Um, and in this game, you you always um, you you try to figure out what's going on always whenever you're struggling, and uh, I've struggled plenty in this game, but I've also done it for a long time to know that you usually come out and there's signs of coming out. And I mean, I remember talking to someone like, Oh, do you feel like you're coming out of this soon? And I, I answered it honestly. I'm like, no, I don't because it just, I couldn't feel, you know, what you're trying to feel as a hitter. And I don't know if that's related. And I guess now we can, we can link two and two together. But, um, over the last few weeks, you know, you just start, you start going to your different checklist of mechanics, timing, um, consistently being late. Why am I consistently being late? I've made these adjustments plenty of times in my career. I didn't just learn how to, I just didn't forget how to all of a sudden do this. So, um, talking with the training staff, we, we got an appointment with, you know, one of the best neurologists I, I believe in the world. So, um, and they ran tests and they basically said everything that we talked about and everything that they came back with basically came back on a silver lining of, you know, I'm not crazy for, for walking back to the dugout consistently thinking, man, how did I miss that pitch? Uh, I usually don't miss that. Or, you know, when I swung at a pitch, um, thinking it was in one location, then going looking at the video, it's in a different location. And as a baseball player, that's frustrating. And, we compete and we try to find answers um, within the game. And I mean, I've played hurt plenty of times, and my body adapts to playing hurt. My my body's has been in physically really good shape this year. Uh, back wise um, has been really good. So it's, you just we went and got tests ran, and uh, it comes back saying that you know I'm. I'm moving a lot slower than the normal person reactions time would be. And that's definitely, uh, alarming, especially for what, what I, we do for a living. So, um, but the good news is they said that, you know, with, with the regimen they put me on, it should be fully healed. And, um, that's about it. Just to clarify, when you had the incident with Tatis, what kind of testing did you undergo right after that? We did the, the, standard league testing and you know i think that was that was good um you know the baseline uh for that was fine there was there was really no symptoms I, it's like i had headaches afterwards it's not like i was really losing memory afterwards or, or anything like that so we re-went through those those plans our training staff handled it very well and respectfully and uh you know, it's just, it, it's something that the neurologist said too. These things cascade afterwards. Maybe you don't initially feel the initial, you know, every, every concussion is different. So you don't feel the initial blow, but what happens is then your brain starts cascading into these little I mean, scientific terms. But, um, and I, I guess that's what happened. And, you know, having waking up feeling the way I kind of describe it is, you go to bed sober and you wake up a little hungover. And when I, that happens, I'm like, that's just, that doesn't seem normal. Uh, but again, it's August 2nd. It's the travel that we go through. So it's always weighing that. Like, am I just tired? Am I just extra fatigued? Um, am I putting up a lot of pressure on myself to do better? So you weigh all these things. But then when you get the test ran, it, I mean, it definitely, is a little bit of relief, but I mean, as a competitor, you, you just never want to let your team down when you're out there playing. Oh, this is tricky. Do you think this will sideline you for a while? Um, no, it's a great question. I, 
we're going to test again uh, pretty frequently. And uh, the doctor, the, the good the doctors that we met with were really amazing, uh, really took the time. And uh, they, they're they confident that this will fully heal. It's one of those things where, you know, if you're playing with a sprained ankle, the sprained ankle is never going to get better, where this is kind of similar. So once it gets better, you're better. Um, and and the biggest thing is not having to worry about re, you know, injuring the brain after you completely heal. Cabrera's in the clubhouse. Is there a roster move to announce? Yeah, Anthony Rizzo is going to go on the IL. Um, uh, basically, the result of of a likely concussion that um, and probably that we trace back to the Tatis thing. Um, just been complaining a little bit the last few days of some fogginess, and um, so we ran him through a battery of tests, neurological stuff, and um, it kind of showed up and came back as some cognitive impairment. Um, so, um, yeah, so he's going to be shut down right now, and um, and hopefully with the treatment he's getting, we'll um, start to see some improvements. Were these the first symptoms that he showed since the injury and the time he took off? Right? Yeah, yeah, because he he uh, you know he went through MLB like all the testing immediately, and in the days after to r- rule that stuff out, pass that, um, and but of late started complaining of just like and just being a little lax and f- foggy and you know you know just the results I think a, a lot of you know, how he's been feeling at the plate, like not hitting pitches that he would normally. And um, so I think going through those battery of tests, um, they found some things. There's um, a supplement he'll he'll go on. um, And then there's, you know, different um, visual things, video exercises he can do that uh, they think will help. I'm just tricky than a timetable for a lot of things, but what, how long is the course of treatment that they're talking about right now? Well, we're just going to kind of evaluate them week to week. And, uh, he'll, again, he's able to do physical activity. Um, he'll take a couple of days where he's not, you know, out doing baseball activities necessarily, but just avoiding like the jarring contact, jumping, that kind of thing. Um, but he should be able to remain and do physical, physical activities.